Good morning. I received my review panel update why they they kept me in the hospital involuntarily for a moment there before our after they issued their CTO. I'm gonna read their their reasons why they kept me involuntarily in the hospital for a little bit. So here's the background. Leo Yambao, 38 year old male who resides in Calgary. He was involuntarily admitted to the hospital on January 18, 2024 for concerns of acute psychosis. He has been brought to the hospital by the Calgary police under a Form 10 mental health warrant after attending the city hall with a bat and electronic drill inside a bag and demanded to speak with city officials about the Green Line Transit. This proceeded, preceded by Leo and Bao calling the distress line and threatening suicide, threatening to kill others and threatening to use whatever means might be necessary to ensure in his involvement in the Green Line. On assessment, Leo and Bao voices frustrations that he acknowledged as being a major lead in the Green Line development and he said he would support Bill he had the support of Bill Gates to fund the transit project. He talked about wanting to take action on the Green Line initiative, such as renting heavy equipment and digging up the road to get it started. He expressed little to no awareness of the gravity of the situation at the city hall including the fact that the building had to be evacuated. He vaguely alluded to wanting to die for a cause and said he could not imagine life going forward if he is not involved in the Green Line. Leo Yambao spoke about doing whatever it takes to get the Green Line underway, even if that involved breaking the law. According to Leo Yambao's available history, and connect care he has had three previous psychiatric admissions for treatment of psychosis and mood symptoms all three admissions were in 2018 and cumulate and cum, cumulated in Leo and Bell's connected to FAOS forensic assessment outreach services and the subject of the community treatment order was the complicated cannabis use. At the time of his current hospitalization, hospitalization Leo Yambao admitted to regular cannabis use and, and denied being on psychiatric treatment in the community or still being connected to outpatient services. I didn't threaten anybody at the city hall. I didn't know it was evacuated, to be honest. I showed up there because I, I have been being ignored by the Green Line and the City Hall officials. I've been respectfully engaging and having and trying to have a meaningful conversations with them. And I was just not getting anywhere. There's a bunch of issues that are being talked in public and I just decided to act and go to the city hall and talk to them. I reached out that morning too to, to these officials and to the Green Line team trying to find out where the office was. I had recorded that day intensively. <laughs> Does Leo Yambao suffer from mental health disorder? Mental health disorder is definitely is broadly defined in the acts as of sexual disorder, thought, mood, perception, orientation, or memory, and loss in peers, judgment, behavior, capacity to recognize reality or ability to meet ordinary demands of life. 
but does not include a disorder in which resulting in permanent persistent and caused by slowly acquired this satisfies the regulation petition both to its disorder and resulting to impaired Dr. Sparling said the UMR continues to present psychosis and poor insights regarding psychosis and mainline connection. I'll post this. It's pretty hard to read for me anyways. Despite a long term issue education and mental health psychosis and cannabis use. Mercy Sevens was similar. Oh. I was not having a cannabis induced psychosis at that time. I was sober at that time. I didn't had cannabis for two weeks prior to going to City Hall. Repeat. I did not have cannabis-induced psychosis that time. I was totally aware of what I was doing. I was... I planned it. I premeditated it the night before. I know exactly what I was doing. I know exactly what was going to happen. I know I was going to get arrested because I know I had an outstanding warrant. But my goal was to talk to City Hall officials and the Green Line team. It was kind of uh, nursing evidence was similar. Sam advised Sam was the nurse. Sam advised that the Leon Yimbao voices ongoing delusions about working in the Green Line and speaks about a grand jury's ideas, such as believing he contributes to massive AI artificial intelligence developments. That and that he is financially able to buy the Calgary Flames and make updates to the Saddle Dome. That's not what I meant. Yes, I'm contributing to AI, or I'm trying to contribute to AI by trying to collaborate Alphabet, Microsoft, uh, Apple, uh, Scale AI. These companies that has a powerful AI or AI that somewhat works. So if we put them all together, for the benefit of humanity. I expect some kind of payment on it. But. It's not. It's not guaranteed. It's work. It's just work that I'm trying to do. Or trying to help on it. Like a lot of people. Nowadays they work to get a paycheck. I do the work that. That does not even exist. I don't know. Or it probably exists, but nobody wants to do. Those are the work that I'm trying to contribute on. And hopefully someday, maybe somebody will just tip me. That's all it is. I've already wrote a piece about this last year. I just made a vlog about it. So, I mean, I can just go back into my history and just maybe find that. I could link it to down below. Liu Yimbao is making clear references to interfering in the need to be able to put himself in harm's way to protect women and children. True. Sam confirmed Liu Yimbao is behavior behaviorally settled in the unit and did admit to using cannabis in the off unit past yesterday and every intention to return to his regular cannabis usage. Yeah, I tried that. I mean, I smoked when I was there because I could afford it and I had it. Because I was under income support and my income support payments came in on February and then I could afford to use cannabis again and then I used again. I just don't understand why I'm ignored. They didn't want to engage with me. It feels like they're purposely doing it. And then their assessments are somewhat inaccurate. It doesn't make sense. I'm just trying to contribute to this community because this is a community I grew up in. Half my adult, most of my adult life was in here. So this is where I'm trying to contribute. I don't know. 
I still feel like I'm purposely being ignored by the Green Line team and our city officials, so I don't know what my next steps are. But I gotta move forward. Where whatever it takes, man. I mean it's not the cannabis use that's our problem here. The problem here is our community and our officials ignoring people that are trying to contribute to this process. I don't know. I could be doing things wrong too. I'm not sure. But I gotta try. I gotta try what I can do. So and try to get noticed and try to engage and try to help complete the project. And that's all for now. Thanks for listening and hanging out. I hope that kind of clear things up. But for me, it feels good to be able to talk to talk to you here. Have a good day.